here we discuss the total hamiltonian of the electron so we have already seen that in esr we are studying the behavior of an electron in a system so this is the electron in the system which is under investigation may or may not be completely free so if the electron is located in an atom or a molecule or in a crystal then a number of interactions exist in addition to the interaction between the spin of the electron and applied magnetic field so we know that the esr spectra is due to the interaction of the electron with the applied magnetic field so the spin of the electron interacts with the applied magnetic field so if the electron is situated in a crystal or in an atom or a molecule we can see that there are many other interactions also so uh, so this interactions will contribute to the total hamiltonian of the system so that will uh, contribute to the total hamiltonian or total energy so a hamiltonian is related to energy so the hamiltonian acting on wave function is energy times wave function so that uh, determines uh, the energy of the system so we will consider all these terms so first one so the ham uh, first term in the hamiltonian is due to the electron kinetic energy so this term is due to the motion of the electrons and in three dimension this kinetic energy term is represented as minus cross h square by 2m del square and in one dimension suppose in, uh, the electron is moving only along x direction then this is uh, d square by dx square minus cross h square by 2m into d square by dx square so this is the uh, kinetic energy part of the hamiltonian and the second one is that the internal potential energy so this one is the potential energy of the electron in the field of all other electrons and nuclei in the atoms ions or molecule and this internal potential energy term is usually represented by a letter v0 and third one is the crystal potential and this is represented by the letter v crystal so if the atom or the molecule or ion in which the electron uh, is situated the electron we are studying is situated so is located in a crystalline environment then the potential the electrostatic potential due to all charges surrounding that species that atom or molecule or ion has to be considered and this potential has got a considerable effect on the spectrum since this potential is generally large so uh, compared to the other terms so generally this term is very strong or uh, larger so compared to other contributions of the hamiltonian and uh, therefore this affect the spectrum very much and the splitting of energy levels due to this potential is called the fine structure splitting so generally this crystal potential is due to the interaction of unpaired electron so if the system contains more than one unpaired electrons there will be interactions in between them so generally this causes uh, the fine structure splitting and uh, we can see that the electron electron interaction is responsible for the uh, is the major cause of the fine structure splitting and we can see that this uh, v crystal is uh, approximately zero in the case of free radicals in solution so for that uh, the fine structure splitting will not be there
for free radicals in solution but uh, this uh, weak crystal value is has got a high value for um, uh, paramagnetic salts such as uh, transition metal ions and uh, rare earth elements so next one is electron zeeman energy so this is nothing but the cause of esr so we have seen that esr spectrum is due to the interaction of magnetic moment due to spin with the applied magnetic field so this represents the direct interaction between the electron spin magnetic moment and the external magnetic field and uh, it's given by hsb equal to minus mu s dot b so we have already seen that uh, this interaction energy or hamiltonian is minus mu s dot b where mu s is the magnetic moment due to spin so since the magnetic moment is due to spin we represent it as the letter mu s so and we have already seen that uh, this mu s is equal to g mu b into a root of s into s plus 1 or uh, simply it can be written as uh, g mu b s so this is also written as uh, mu g minus g uh, so this is already since this is uh, associated with electron there is a minus sign so minus minus will become plus g mu b s dot b so this is the uh, electron zeeman energy so that is the uh, behavior of the electron in the magnetic field so next one is nuclear zeeman energy so this term is due to the interaction of the magnetic moment mu i nu due to the nucleus nuclear magnetic moment with the external magnetic field so uh, this is the interaction energy of the magnetic moment mu i of the nucleus with the external magnetic field so uh, this is the term uh, that we have studied in the case of nmr so when the uh, electron is placed in the ma uh, magnetic field the corresponding nucleus is also in the magnetic field so therefore there is a contribution due to nuclear zeeman energy and uh, which is uh, given by the hamiltonian hib equal to so if there is only a single nucleus in the system uh, with spin this is equal to minus mu i dot b so we have seen that this um, mu i is equal to g n mu n root of i into i plus 1 so which can be approximated as uh, g n mu n i so substituting this so this is positive but in the case of electron this is negative so uh, hamiltonian is positive so minus n plus so minus g n mu n i dot p if there is only one nucleus so if there are more than one uh, nuclei in the system uh, we have uh, to sum over this term and uh, generally here uh, we are considering uh, only one electron one unpaired electron is there so we don't have to sum over this term so if there are more than one unpaired electrons we have to sum over this term also so next one is the nuclear electron spin coupling so we can see that uh, this is due to the coupling of the unpaired electron and the nucleus so the interaction of the unpaired electron with the magnetic moments of the nuclei will give rise to a nuclear electron spin coupling and the splitting of the spectra observed due to nuclear electron spin coupling is called hyperfine structure of ESR and there are two terms in the nuclear electron spin coupling one is the dipole dipole interaction term and the second one is the Fermi contact term. so out of this the first one the dipole dipole interaction term is due to a direct dipole dipole interaction between 
the nucleus and the electron magnetic moments so in this uh, the magnetic moments of the electron and nucleus will interact so and uh, we can see that this interaction depends on the angle between the magnetic field and the line joining the two dipoles so there are um, uh, dipole uh, due to magnetic dipole due to the nuclear spin and magnetic dipole due to the electron spin so um, this dipoles interact and uh, uh, the interaction term depends on the angle between the line joining this and the applied magnetic field so suppose the magnetic field is like this and the dipoles are in this and this depends on the angle between the two dipoles and the magnetic field and therefore uh, this term depends on the orientations of these two dipoles and therefore this interaction is directional depends on the direction and uh, it is also referred as an, an isotropic interaction so since uh, this uh, term depends on the uh, direction so uh, therefore it's directional and therefore it is an anisotropic interaction so the magnitude of this interaction is proportional to 1 over r cube where r is the distance between the dipoles so but uh, for free radicals in solution the interaction averages to zero this is because the orientation of the radical with respect to the magnetic field changes very rapidly so therefore the average is taken as zero the ori dipole orientation changes very very rapidly so the average goes to zero so hyperphase structure structure in free radicals is only due to the fermi contact term and the hamiltonian due to this dipole dipole interaction is given by h dipole is equal to g g n mu b mu n whole multiplied by s dot i divided by r cube minus 3 into s dot r into i dot r divided by r raised to 5 so g is the land g factor g n is the nuclear land g factor mu b is the bohr magneton and mu n is the nuclear bohr magneton s is spin angular momentum and i is nuclear spin angular momentum and r is the distance between the dipoles so hmm, for free radicals this term goes to uh, zero and the second term in the nuclear electron spin coupling is the Fermi contact term. So this has no classical analog and this represents the interaction between the nuclear moment and the magnetic field produced by the electron spin at the nucleus. So due to the uh, electron spin there is a magnetic field produced at the uh, uh, nucleus so the interaction between the nuclear magnetic moment and the magnetic field due to the spin it is not due to the external field so so this is the cause for a uh, fermi contact term so and it depends on the finite unpaired electron density at the nucleus so which is there when it occupies in an s orbital so this term is there if and only if the unpaired electron is present in the s orbital so this term is zero when the unpaired electron is in any other orbitals p d or f so this p d and f orbitals have node at the nucleus and therefore the corresponding electron density at the nucleus is zero for p d and f orbitals and this interaction term is independent of the orientation and it is given by
h f is equal to 8 pi by 3 g into g n into mu b into mu n into modulus i 0 square multiplied by s dot i. So, here h f is the Hamiltonian due to Fermi contact term and uh, modulus uh, psi 0 square is the electron probability density at the center of the nucleus. So, modulus psi 0 is the corresponding electron wave function at the center of the nucleus and uh, this psi of 0 equal to non 0 only for s electrons. So, therefore, uh, this term is present when the unpaired electron occupy the s orbital and psi of 0 is 0 for p, d, f orbitals and other orbitals as well. So, uh, this can be simplified as, uh, so this term 8 pi by 3 g, g n mu b mu n modulus psi 0 square is called a. A is the hyperfine splitting constant and in terms of A, HF can be written as A S dot I where A is the hyperfine splitting constant. So, we have seen that the interaction due to the Fermi contact term is independent of the orientation and therefore, this interaction is isotropic in nature and also the Fermi contact term involves only S electrons, which is spherically symmetrical. S orbitals are spherically symmetric, and therefore the hyperfine splitting constant A is also isotropic. Uh, it uh, is a constant uh, even though the direction changes, it will not change with direction. So, hyperfine splitting constant A is also isotropic. And the Fermi contact term is also, and the interaction due to Fermi contact term is also isotropic since it uh, does not depend on the orientation. So, these are the major terms in the Hamiltonian electron kinetic energy, internal potential energy V0, crystal potential energy V crystal, which is responsible for the fine structure splitting, electron Z man energy, nuclear Z man energy, and nuclear electron spin coupling which has got two terms the dipole dipole interaction term and the Fermi contact term. So, now there are other interactions as well. We have seen that uh, ESR spectroscopy is present in the paramagnetic materials. So, if uh, it is a crystal then there are other interactions as well. So, in a crystalline paramagnetic system there are other interactions like electron spin orbit coupling, nuclear moment electron orbital coupling, electron orbital magnetic field coupling and nuclear electric quadruple energy. So, these are those other interactions. Uh, electron spin orbit coupling is the due to the interaction of electron spin with uh, electron orbital motion, electron orbital angular momentum and electron spin um, angular momentum and uh, this one is due to the interaction between upital angular momentum with the uh, magnetic field and this one is due to the interaction between orbital angular momentum with nuclear moment and there is another hmm, term which is nuclear electric quadrupole energy. So, this uh, term is of significance only for nuclei with i greater than half where i is the nuclear spin quantum number. So, generally we are concerned mainly with systems where the electron spin couples with protons. So, for protons i equal to half. So, therefore, this term is not significant in the case of protons and uh, uh, these terms are zeros for s electrons. So, for S electrons, the orbital angular momentum are zeros. So, this term is present for P, D and F electrons. This terms A, B, C are present for uh, P electrons, D electrons or F electrons. 
and anyway this uh, terms are very very small compared to other terms and therefore we can neglect uh, this so generally the hamiltonian should be the sum of all the contributions the six contributions plus the other interactions but since uh, these terms are very smaller in magnitude or we can say that they are uh, since these terms are less significant compared to uh, the other terms uh, we can neglect these contributions and uh, the hamiltonian uh, depends on the the six terms so most of the cases uh, the hamiltonian uh, is um, independent of the other interaction terms and we can write the hamiltonian as the sum of the hamiltonian due to electron kinetic energy hamiltonian due to potential energy v0 uh, so the hamiltonian due to uh, v crystal uh, hsb hib and uh, h dipole plus hf so the total hamiltonian is minus cross x square by 2m del square plus v0 plus v crystal plus hsb plus hib plus h dipole plus hf and for uh, some material some terms will be zero and the expression for the hamiltonian will be simplified okay thank you